Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Into The Future. I'm a cotton sock or Maddie if you do not know me and I have played 10 generations of this specific family's lineage and this marks our final and 11th generation of us playing this specific family. This is what I call a lepacy which is a let's play legacy challenge. Basically you start off with one sim which in our case was Roxy our founder and you play their child then their child then their child then their child while also adding sims 3 packs along each generation. It appears we have our little university mascot here to greet us in the beginning of this episode and because this is into the future i also expect us to be greeted with a very special item here very shortly and we will definitely hear it when it goes off but i'm maddie or a cotton sock i play the sims 2 and sims 3 on this channel you may know me by my tutorial videos oh oh there's the mascot he dropped off a little care package for us how nice i make everything from sims 2 mod videos to sims 2 playthroughs to sims 3 mod videos and guys and tutorials. I have lots of guides on this channel about everything you could possibly think of. How I get my game to look beautiful, how I get my sims to look beautiful. Why did my university mascot just turn into a hawkeye? Oh my god, we have a portal! Wow! Oh my gosh, a mysterious portal has appeared in the world. What effects may this have on the world? That is what we are going to be exploring this generation in into the future. As you guys may or may not know, if you're new here, you probably don't know this, I have quite a vendetta against the pack of Into the Future. I played it uh, on a live stream, I think like a year and a half ago at this point, and it was about what I expected. It is the last entry that was ever added to the Sims 3 franchise, and I cannot help but feel like it was a letdown. I don't want my uh, predispositions to kind of put a damper on our future LP, but it is one of my least favorite, if not my least favorite. It has, I think it has to be my least favorite expansion that was ever added to the Sims 3. I'm not fond of it. I don't really like the story and I'm also just not a sci-fi girl. Like that's just not my thing. I really like to play kind of like domestic households. So I really like the stuff that's like generations and stuff that really adds to the familial aspects of the game, but not sci-fi. Sci-fi, definitely not something that I'm into. And I'm especially not into it because when you do end up using this portal and going into the future, which we'll see here in the upcoming episodes, you do hit a loading screen. And I really am just not a fan of loading screens when I've already spent, you know, 10 minutes loading into my save file. So I know that's just like an aspect of this industry, but it is one of the criticisms I have here. And, you know, on the other side of the token, I can see there was quite literally no other way to do things like you would have to hit a loading screen to adventure to a new world that's just how the sims 3 is programmed and that's just how it is at a fundamental core okay so now that we got that out of the way how i've let you guys know uh that i'm not too fond of into the future and i'm hoping to change my opinion hey maybe this lp these 25 30 episodes will change my predisposition and i will you know eat my words and uh put my foot in my mouth and actually end up liking it so we'll see here i know a lot of you guys really like into the future i've been told so this is the 11th generation I play 10 generations. Don't worry though. In order to watch these LPs, you don't have to watch any other of the previous generations. I do a really good job at recapping, which we will get into here in just a second. One of my Sims are already at each other's throats. That's, that's great. I would also like to let you guys know if you have never watched this series before, I have put together a consolidated and really clear and thorough family tree on a site called Plum Tree app. You don't have to sign up if you want to view my family tree, but it does go through every single generation from Roxy all the way down now to Null and it basically shows you who the heir of each generation is. You can follow their lineage and kind of see how I played through them and so on and so forth. So I will leave a link to that in the pinned comment below where you guys can check out the entire family tree, the entire lineage and just follow it. I just want to give spoilers though. So if you're planning to watch one of my previous generations and you don't want any spoilers about who I choose to carry on as an heir, just be careful clicking on that link because it will spoil previous generations if you have never watched them before. Okay, so now that we have gone through the preliminary sort of measures here. I should probably talk about this beautiful house um, and the world that we're living in.
Guardians. So I decided a lot of you were rooting for me to pick Lunar Lakes as our next world or our final world. And once again, I'm not a sci-fi person. It's just not my thing. I'm so sorry. I, I just cannot do Lunar Lakes. It's probably one of my least favorite, if not my least favorite Sims 3 store world. And of course, I'm sure a lot of you like it and people that really like sci-fi out there, I'm sure that, you know, there's people out there that probably like it. But I decided to go with Aurora Skies. A lot of you told me to take out my lighting mod. Unfortunately, I would take out my lighting mod, but it does affect like how the world looks, not just the sky. So I would either have to install a new lighting mod that doesn't affect Aurora Skies because I really do want to see like what Aurora Skies looks like because it's quite literally in the name. If you don't know what Aurora Skies is, it is a Sims 3 store world and it comes with some really cool objects. It comes with the little baby walker that I'm sure a lot of you know. There's also like lag spikes because I'm like trying to render in the world and kind of just like move us around. So buildings are going in and out of render. So I don't pay any attention to the little tiny miniature lag spikes. But yeah, it has a really beautiful sky. This is known for being modeled after Iceland. Iceland has those beautiful aurora borealises. Is that the pl plural of borealis? Borealises? I don't know. During the nighttime, Aurora Skies has a beautiful sky. You really don't need to play with a lighting mod in Aurora Skies. I did take it out um, briefly or my lighting mod hadn't loaded in yet. And the game just looks totally different with, with and without a lighting mod. Like the lighting mod really does improve and change things. I'll give you guys a little house tour here in a second. So if you are like, oh my God, what is that from? What is that from? I'll get to it in a second. Don't worry. But I should mention where I got the house from. Uh, this is by one of my mutuals, Hello Sims. And this house, let me pull it up to make sure I'm not giving you guys the wrong name. It is called the Charles Burrow. 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 Yes. I will, of course, leave a link to this in the description box below. Hello Sims or Haley did a phenomenal job on this house. I did change it a little bit to my liking. And I was also missing a couple of things. So I changed a couple of things here and there. But without further ado, let's get into the house tour, shall we? I'm already getting lovely arrow traps. That's going to be so excited to deal with. <laughs> but anyway, here's the entrance to the house. I added a little key dish in the walkway entry here because I thought it was so cute. But the house looks lived in. That's one of my biggest things about my Sims's house. I want them to look lived in because there's people that live here. It just doesn't make any sense. And it's kind of silly to like make the house look pristine and perfect. So you'll notice in my household, we have clutter. We have items, you know, out of place and, and just things that are askew because we have people living here. This is the Sims's house. Here is the living room, which is really just cute and comfy. And I love it so much. We have some bookcases over on the side, a painting easel, and we have Miss Martina. And we will get into introducing all the Sims here in just a second, but she's playing her little video games. And then we have another office in here where Noel, <laughs> our heir for this generation, is playing their game. And off that, we have a bathroom and then we have a kitchen. And now out of everything in this house, I love this house. Like I really do. The kitchen was one thing that I did change. So this kitchen, if you download this house, your kitchen won't be this big and it won't look like this. I added a lot of stuff in this kitchen and I also added a lot of clutter. I was like, I need some clutter in here. The kitchen needs to look more lived in. And there are some like empty places and whatnot um, that I still need to fill with clutter. But uh, for the time being, yeah, they live here. So I want to make it look a little bit cluttered here is the dining table and it looks like a sim has already put a book on the dining table which is great you know i was just talking about how i wanted everything to look lived in and whatnot and then a sim like throws a book on the, on the dining table that's that's nice and then back here we have the custom objects from aurora skies not custom objects but the objects that come with aurora skies and this is the baby walker and also the baby playpen now these objects are very overpowered these objects are insane because you can put your your baby your toddler in here and oh okay um what are you guys doing yeah. hello <laughs> they just like walked in front of us that was so perfect they just like slid themselves right in front of us uh that's 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 cute ash is saying to noel being brushed by any invited fingers is an unpleasant sensation and there's something about the clammy touch of zombie fingers that sends an extra shiver right down the spine what do you say like totally you know um yeah i totally know about zombie fingers like what is he in the walking dead but here's like the little playroom for the kids those and then that leads off to a nice this is a beautiful backyard like absolutely beautiful this pool and stuff is already here the only thing i added was this conversion from that sims 4 kit i think it's called like cozy campers or something like that it comes with this projector screen and someone on tumblr oh my god shout out to whoever you are converted that projector screen to the sims 3 so you can literally watch shows on this projector 
it is like the craziest thing i've ever seen this must have been such a large undertaking to make this object converted to the sims 3 but this is amazing we can have like movie nights out here in the backyard which is i just love it i put this in every single backyard because i want this in my own backyard at my house just amazing and we have some objects where the kids can play out here we only have one kid currently we'll get to her in a second but yeah that is the first level of the house uh once again i did not make this this is by hello sims and she did a phenomenal job Job. like just absolutely gorgeous house so if we head up to the stairs there's this big staircase here in the middle of the house we have the second floor and you will notice there are some empty rooms these are just rooms this is a six bedroom house so i only have what five sims here so i didn't need to use every single bedroom but we have two empty bedrooms and then a bathroom and then over here we have ash's room and i love his room it's just like so red and just it's giving don lothario honestly it's giving don lothario and then we have a bathroom off of Ash's room and then this is Noel's room and I decided for their room I really wanted to do something super futuristic so I have this object from the Sims 3 store this is a super sleeper and Sims sleep in like three or so hours um when they when they use this object and I think it's even less than three hours I don't know how much it is okay I'm just talking at the top of my head but it is a really cool object and I wanted to really give Noel a super futuristic room considering they are going to be the one that we are visiting the future with so that is what I did for the room it is a little bit empty in the middle here I don't know what to put I'm thinking like a rug or something but I already have a rug underneath the super sleeper so I don't know if that will look weird or not I guess I'd have to try it out and then we have another bathroom and we have little Bailey's room over here so Bailey is the little baby in this family who has a demonic imaginary friend doll let me get that out of her crib oh my gosh i almost almost just had a heart attack when that just happened she has the bath station or the uh changing table that's what it's called from the sims 3 store and then here are the parents of the household martina and river here is their room and yeah that is the lovely house by hello sims there is a okay the the chimney didn't render there it was super weird but this is the house i really like it it's really big and it suits all my needs so i'm really excited to play in it for this generation i guess i really have a fondness for these swim, swim trunks because i gave both noel and ash those same swim trunks okay yeah i do like those swim trunks they are really cute ash is actually on the phone with his girlfriends right now jeanette jeanette is so beautiful i gave her a makeover this generation and she came out stunning so why don't we now that we're on the topic of like talking about our sims why don't we talk about the sims that are in this household here so i'm gonna give you guys a really thorough really good explanation so you guys don't have to watch any previous generations or anything like that so starting off here we have river as you may or may not have noticed he is completely green and he has leaves and stuff on his legs and that is because he is what is called a plant sim which is just like it sounds a sim that is part plant Plant, and he was actually grown from a seed by his mother meadow who planted him right in the ground and scooped him right up when he was ready and he was a little tiny baby so that is my love river i he was the heir to our last generation and i just love him so much i don't know what it is he's such like a kind-hearted and just sweet sim really he's good social butterfly technophobe loves the outdoors and natural born performer also he has a kind of a tragic backstory river oh. fell in love with a woman named florida way back in island paradise they ended up having a child together unfortunately river was being played by florida and river actually had to go ahead and raise noel all by himself and it was just like he had a really hard time coming to terms with this and being a single dad and all that so river did a really good job at raising noel though and they are super super close they are actually best friends with each other because the only person the only parent that noel has ever known their entire life has been river so river did a stellar job at raising noel river is currently the bay watcher he is level 10 in the lifeguard career and he's He's gonna be retiring pretty soon he's getting pretty old he only has five days until he ages up to an elder and one of you actually i was i gave these sims a makeover on a live stream i did last week which i have uploaded by this point if you guys would like to go and watch me move these sims to this town live give them makeovers and just generally talk about how i set up a brand new season of my legacy but i originally gave river gray hair and one of you recommended because he's a plant sim that his hair shouldn't be graying his hair should be wilting so you said 
suggested that I give him brown hair like when a plant wilts it starts to get brown instead of gray which makes so much more sense though I feel like it doesn't make him look as old as the gray did but I did mix in like I think just one swatch has gray in it so you can see it on his beard a little bit he, he is gray and this beard it comes with into the future and it is modeled after the guy the games master in Hunger Games I think and it looks so good on River like I can never use his beard in base game but I use it on River and it fits him so well I think it's because he's like a plant sim and he looks different but it looks so good on him and I never thought I'd be able to use this beard and here we are like I'm actually able to use it which is amazing oh okay Ash and River are sleeping okay R Ash is a little confused he's sleeping in the wrong bed also I don't know why he's sleeping oh I guess it is pretty late at night I thought it was like still daytime I guess it's because the sky oh my gosh look at the skies in this town even though I still have a lighting mod in my game and I use the fro frozen lighting mod in my game if you guys are not aware my skies still look so beautiful though I will admit I do know like base game aurora skies or vanilla aurora skies not base game oh my god there's a unicorn literally right there which is like adding to the beauty of the sky but I do know vanilla aurora skies has really beautiful skies I think they're even prettier than what this is right now so anyways moving on to our next sim here we have Martina and Martina is currently using the super sleeper as you guys can probably tell she is a mermaid you can see her legs there she has like little mermaid scales on her legs I'm gonna wake her up quickly here she's getting a little bit flaky she needs to take a shower I'm gonna have her go take a shower also but Martina is the matriarch of the family she is also Noel's stepmother and there's a really cute love story between River and Martina so originally Martina and River met when they were teenagers in high school and they got together actually River's first kiss ever in his entire life was with Martina and I'm pretty sure Martina's first kiss ever was with River now River was a little bit older like he was like two or three years older than Martina so he was aging up actually to become a young adult and I was like I have to cut this off right now because she's gonna take a while to age up and he can move on in that time and so they ended up breaking up and then that is when River actually got with Noel's mother Lorita and he got played and all that that tragic backstory that I just told you guys the whole time Martina and River actually like kept their love for each other and they were just still in love with each other and still remembered each other so after all of those years we're probably talking like 20 ish years Martina and River got back together after 20 years of not being with each other and they found out that their feelings still remained the same and which is so cute like they just they still found their way back to each other and still were in love and I just love that backstory so much it's so cute in the last generation we actually turned Martina into a mermaid I did a really poor job at exploring mermaids in the Sims 3 and honestly I think that's probably because there's not much to mermaids unless you play with like an evil mermaid where they can like summon sharks or you know whatnot there's not really much to mermaids much like there isn't much to plant sims they kind of just have different motives and they appear a little bit different than their regular sim I actually haven't found a game that has really nailed down a perfect like mermaid system like the sims 4 doesn't have a perfect mermaid system sims 3 definitely didn't have one I guess the really the best thing about being a mermaid in the sims 3 is that you automatically get mastered of scuba diving which is pretty cool I guess Martina is absolutely stunning like she is just one of the most gorgeous sims and i have a golden rule in my let's play is where i don't touch facial features so whatever a sim gets born with whatever facial features i mean i can add like cc to them and change their face um using cc and just like overlays and that sort of thing but i will physically not go in and like change sliders or change up any of their facial features but of course i will like use makeup and that sort of thing but martina she for for her being a pre-made ea you know vanilla isla paradiso sim she is like absolutely stunning um really just a gorgeous sim all around so i love martina i really do and her traits are excitable friendly loves a cold neurotic and proper and i could see her being a world-renowned surgeon like a nurse so i changed her she was originally leader of the free world but i could see martina I feel like it's because she's such like a nurturing sort of parent. Um, I could really see her being a nurse. So I changed that, uh, her lifetime wish to being a world renowned surgeon. I don't know if she can actually do it because she is halfway to being an elder. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure. Moving on to our heir. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is our heir, Noel. And as I already kind of talked about with River, Noel really didn't have a mother growing up. Uh, Noel's mother is Florida in Isla Paradiso. She is a pre 
Eastry Maid Sim. And she's really beautiful, actually, for being like an EA Maid Sim. Listen, I have really low expectations when it comes to EA Maid Sims. And Nola is a great kisser, socially awkward, eco friendly, coward, and ambitious. You will hear me refer to Noel as they, them. Someone in the comments of my last generation said that Noel was giving them major, like, non binary vibes. And we actually have never had a non binary sim in my LPs before. And I really aim to be inclusive and make sure that everyone can see representations of themselves in these LPs. So I was like, I really want to make Noel non-binary. And yeah, so our heir Noel, you will hear me refer to them as they, them. But Noel's lifetime wish is to be a high-tech collector and we will be visiting the future with Noel. I'm so excited. Also, I think Noel, let me check their sexuality. Noel has a two for men and a negative one for women, which means Noel will be getting with a man in this LP, which lets us show off a really cool feature there is a feature that comes into the future where you can genetically like engineer a baby so we're gonna do that in this lp for sure and i really want to do it with noel and i think it gives us a perfect opportunity a perfect window to do so noel is a great kisser social awkward eco-friendly coward and ambitious they haven't really mastered any skills i was really focusing heavy in isla paradiso to improve river because river is the one with all the skills like he has level nine athletic he's got level five charisma he's got all these different sort of skills noel is going to go and sleep in the super sleeper i cannot wait for them to use this object it just it doesn't seem too comfortable like i don't know what it is when will they wake up they're gonna wake up at 7 30 so this will get noel fully slept by 7 30 a.m which is kind of crazy like that is a really short turnaround for them to get fully rested which is so cool also <laughs> noel wants to complain about video games okay interesting last but not least we have ash and ash well, i must say ash was like a wild card so let me tell you the story of ash i was gonna take you into cast just so we can get a better look at ash he is so gorgeous like so beautiful i gave him a man bun for this generation like before he had kind of like a wavy haircut but oh my god i think i hit the jackpot and i just hit the nail on the head because this man bun looks phenomenal on him so what's really interesting about ash is ash was born super late into his parents lives two generations ago i played with a sim called meadow back in my university lp and she was our heir and meadow was only able to have occult children she actually has another baby that's not shown here i can show the plum tree app family tree so you guys can get a better feel meadow was having fertility problems and that's why she had two occult babies one being an alien and the other one being river the plants him meadow got really lucky when she was about to be an elder she got pregnant just naturally and that's how ash was born now because ash was born so late into his parents lives unfortunately his parents passed away when he was super young and so that's when river ash's older brother swooped in and took him under his wing and basically was like a stand-in parent and obviously ash is now living with river here in aurora sky so they are super close just like a super close tight bond and what was really cool is that ash and noel grew up like they were siblings because they were so close in age and river was always there dropping noel off at ash's house and they had play dates and basically grew up like they were siblings which is super cool and i love that story so much so ash is a social butterfly much like his older brother hope is romantic a heavy sleeper grumpy and a cat person and he was is a firefighter i'm not sure why his job got changed because i do think that there's a fire station in this town maybe there isn't i bet that's why yeah there's no fire station in this town so i'll have to place one down there should be actually because there is the land grab sell and swap there's a junk stop and a barney salon and tattoo so there should be a fire station in this town i don't know why it had him quit his job uh that's actually really strange we can see it here that he was level two as a firefighter i guess maybe it didn't populate that lot so we'll have to go in and re-add that because he did want to be a firefighter and it was really cute but he got a, another want to be in the criminal career i don't know why i can't really see him being in the criminal career like he doesn't have like the evil trait or anything like that i guess you don't have to be evil to be a criminal right there's different there's different types of criminals but i really like the story of him being a firefighter so i will off camera go in and add that firefighter lot back in and ash has a girlfriend and oh my god you guys need to see her so you may remember jeanette from our last generation and jeanette funny enough who is ash's girlfriend is somehow related to martina i think 
think it's her niece. So it just so happened that way back in high school, Jeanette here and Ash, who I was just talking about, they fell in love. I guess Isla Paradiso is a small town after all. It's really not, but you know, just for the sake of storytelling purposes. <laughs> and Ash fell in love with Jeanette, who, I mean, you guys saw Martina and Martina is absolutely gorgeous. So of course, Martina's niece, Jeanette, is also going to be just absolutely stunning. So here is Jeanette. I love her so much and she will be popping in and out of this. She doesn't live with our household. She lives in town. Um, she lives like on another, let me see where she is. She's probably like out and about. Oh, no, she's at home. Okay. So here's where Jeanette lives. It's just like a small starter house. I don't know why I can see her. <laughs> I can see through her ceiling. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. Okay. So let's see her every now and then. I actually want to see what the relation. Yes. Oh, that's her sister-in-law. I think it changed to sister-in-law because Ash started to technically date her. If Ash and Jeanette weren't together, I'm pretty sure Martina would be her niece, but I'm not sure if it would read niece on the family tree anymore because I didn't take like the rest of Martina's family. So anyway, ignore what I'm saying, basically. I'm gonna have Martina go in, grab a little bite to eat. She's really hungry. I forget. Oh my God, we have no, we have no groceries. Okay, we're gonna have to someone, have someone go to the grocery store. Um, River's taking care of the baby. Ash isn't doing much. So we're gonna send Ash over to the grocery store here. It's called Food Feud. That's so funny. And it has a little two dots over the U. Amazing. I love that. <laughs> Obviously, this whole town is based off of Iceland, which is really cool. I have never lived in one of these sort of towns before. I did set up a custom climate. So I basically what I did is I looked at like a timetable for each month of the year and the corresponding like daily average temperatures. And I went into Enros Tempest, which is a mod you can get. And I added my own custom climate so basically i just looked up like iceland average temperature in fall iceland average temperature in spring iceland average temperature in summer and so on and so forth i mainly inputted values of like what the temperature should be at nighttime which in this case i did like 50 fahrenheit and 65 fahrenheit and so on and so forth so you can really get in here and just customize super super closely uh what you want your climate to be and with enros tempest which i think is so cool so the last sim here is bailey and she's just a little tiny baby we don't know much about her she's actually the daughter of river and martina that's so cool because just like i never thought river and martina would be together let alone like have an entire child together because considering you know their high school their rocky high school relationship it was very much so like juvenile and all that um it is really cool to to see like you know bailey alive and well and all that <laughs> we actually don't know much about bailey because she was born in the last generation or the last episode of the last generation so i don't know much about bailey as it is so we're gonna have to kind of meet her and like navigate her life together which will be which will be pretty cool so i bought four of everything if you guys don't know if you go to the grocery store of course you can shop by ingredients but there's also this button to shop by recipe which i find so much more easy it doesn't actually give you the plate of the food that it's showing it just gives you the ingredients to make the plate of food so like even though it says like four mac and cheeses here if i mouse over it you can see it's actually giving me four pieces of cheese and so on and so forth for the rest of them so it's pretty cool i'm gonna send ash on home here now that he has the goodies and i'm gonna just drag them into the fridge poor martina isn't gonna be able to get a meal before she heads off to work which is really gonna suck she has what is it called a scooter i said a motor <laughs> she has a motor she has an entire motor in her inventory <laughs> all right so ash is heading on home here i am just going to also he has a bunch of dirty food in his inventory from the travel uh for whatever reason when you move with enros porter it does that i don't know why it's like key dirty plates of food in their inventory i have no idea but i'm going to drag all of these ingredients just into the fridge so that we are able to use them so you may have noticed in the beginning of this episode i mentioned that this is only going to be 35 or 30 or 25 sort of episodes um i typically do 45 episodes jesus his phone is ringing incessantly adam birch okay a lot of you were hyping up when i did a stream of preparing this family a lot of you were hyping up adam birch so i'm so, and i also got an opportunity to become friends with him so i guess we can do that we can go and meet adam birch which will be pretty cool martina's already at the hospital we actually live super close to the hospital and this is her first day in the new town at her job so it's gonna be really fun oh i forgot to buy a pet bowl for poor misty she's probably starving yes she's starving and she has nothing to scratch at so i am so sorry misty i've just been blabbering and i have not been paying any attention to you 
I apologize, my girl. I apologize. All right, let's get her a little cat tower. She deserves the best. Wait, I called her Misty. Oh my gosh. I keep calling her cat Misty. It's because we had a cat named Misty way back in university and we had her for probably like two generations. That cat, like I love her, but she did not, she, she would not give up. She just lived and lived and lived. This is not Misty. Her name is Kai. Our cat's name is Kai. And I need to remember it's Kai. It's Kai. It's Kai. It's not Misty, Maddie. It's not Misty anymore. It's Kai. Misty was Meadow's cat and um, Meadow was my heir of university. So you can tell how old my brain is like locked in calling every single cat I see in this game, Misty. <laughs> I don't mean to, it just, it just happens. Okay. Anyway, so Bailey's traits, I didn't read out her traits. I don't think she loves the outdoors and handy and we don't know much about her. So that'll be pretty, uh, that'll be pretty interesting. I love this little robot from the Sims 2 that is on her shelf. This is like a piece of Tumblr CC. I think it's so cute. Is this someone's time to work today? I don't think so. I think it's actually River. Is there a beach here that he can do his lifeguard work on? I think there is, right? There's, there's gotta be a beach here. I can actually save people um, because I did leave Island Paradise in my Sims 3 game. With Origin, you can choose what packs you play with. And I did end up leaving in Island Paradise, even though I said I was gonna like take it out, but I don't know. Why is he trying to sabotage? River! What are you doing? That is your child's bed. Why are you trying to sabotage? He's literally sitting here sabotaging the super sleeper. What is that? You know why it is? It's because he's a technophobe. He wants to sabotage electronics. So that is so mean. The notification says, great job sabotaging the sharper Sims super sleeper. Now nobody will be able to use this freakish monstrosity. It is a monstrosity. It really is. It is huge. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to call a repair technician because Noel, your father is a jackass. Your father is just rude. Okay. I'm not sure if I finished my thought, but I was saying how how this generation is only going to be 25 or 30 episodes as opposed to my usual 45 episode schedule. That is because I am not fond of Into the Future and I played it once, I mentioned before, in my one of my live streams, which are about three hours. And I think I finished the entire game in three hours like i'm pretty sure i finished the entire pack uh, so i don't expect it to be like a huge long thing i think it's not gonna take us very long to finish into the future which is kind of why i'm trying to space it out and like not get into any futuristic stuff in this episode so that is why this series will be a little bit shorter than all my other leprosies which is kind of sad because this is the last generation but i know by like episode 20 i'm gonna be like hey guys <laughs> so we're not doing anything into the future today because we already finished that even though i'm still playing technically into the future you know what i'm saying so it's like eh. but yeah guys i hope you did all enjoy this introductory episode to the final final generation into the future i'm so excited oh my god it's gonna be so fun apparently this is where river is lifeguarding today which there's nowhere for people to drown on this lot i think actually is this still part of the lot no the lot ends you can kind of see where like the line is where the lot ends you can kind of see it's like right here um so i don't know how we're gonna have any drowning sims when there's nowhere to swim on this lot yeah i think this might have you can you can see the, really see the line right now there's i don't think this this water here is connected to this lot so that'll be a problem i might have to have him retire sooner than later after all he is already level 10 so i mean what's why have him go to work i guess he still needs oh it reset his lifetime wish so yeah yeah, we're gonna have him retired <laughs> it reset his lifetime wish he had something like 45 out of 50 sims that he had and then it just reset it when i moved them across worlds so um, we're gonna retire i'm gonna click on i think we go to what the city hall and we can go ahead and have him retire register as retired there we go we're, we're having him retire as he's at work for the day which is so funny it's like him driving all the way out here going to work was what made him want to retire <laughs> anyways guys i hope you did all enjoy this introductory episode i'm excited to play this pack out and i will of course give it another try listen i don't have to enjoy it but i definitely want to show off all the features and i'm going to try to genuinely enjoy it i spent money on buying into the future and i want to get my money's worth even though i know that i have a predisposition to not enjoy the features of this pack i am going to genuinely give it a fair shot so anyway guys i hope that you all like this first episode i will see you all in episode two where we actually get to start to explore the future which is gonna be so fun and peace out.